Like many other across the Northland, the Grand Rapids School District has seen its fair share of financial struggles, recently including a failed referendum last year. Yeah, but their school board has continued to make ends meet. With the election just around the corner, voters will decide three spots on the district's 318 board. Northern News Now's Isabella Zadra spoke with district officials about the importance of the race to the students they educate. District 318 has faced some financial issues over the years, but their school board continued to do everything they could for their campuses, making these three seats vital for the district's future. And we've sold three small parcels of property, and these are all little things that we're trying to do to uh, decrease, uh, you know, our costs. Mark Schroeder is a current board member who has been with the district through good and bad. He hopes the new board members will continue not to only work on district budgeting, but keep the bigger picture in mind. They're getting themselves in for is a commitment to kids. And my belief is healthy schools are required if you're going to have a healthy uh, community. As a superintendent, Matt Gross works closely with his district school board. He also acknowledged the hardships the district has faced, but is proud of where the school currently stands. We've taken a step back and, and reevaluated and continued to make good financial decisions. Uh, this will be our third straight year of a balanced budget. Gross wants residents and parents to see the importance the board plays for their schools as they cast their ballots this election. We serve all children. No matter what race, religion, creed, disability, uh, no matter what category they sort of fall in, there's a place for kids here. And I think that's really important. Both Schroeder and Gross look forward to the ideas the new school board members will bring, hoping no matter who they are, they care enough about the children to make things happen. In Grand Rapids, Isabella Zadra, Northern News Now. There are nine candidates fighting for those three seats. You can learn about each of them at northernnewsnow.com.